I'd like to briefly introduce you to sets in Python. Sets are a useful data structure because they support a number of useful math operations and because they only allow unique elements. By the end of this video, you will be able to create sets in Python and use set operations. Sets have three qualities, which will be useful for us going forward. The first is they, like dictionaries, are unordered. This, again like dictionaries, allows them to be incredibly fast for a number of key operations. The second is that they hold unique elements, which means you cannot have duplicate values. The third is that they support useful set operations, including union and intersection. Let's do some examples to see why sets can be handy. We can create sets by using the keyword set and then pass as an argument to set a list of the values that we want to have in the set. Here we're passing a list of my favorite colors. This will produce the set of colors. Notice that the set we got back is in a different order than the list that we provided. Again, sets are unordered, so this is completely OK. Now let's see how to add to this set. By calling the method add, we can add a new color. We can see that we've successfully added yellow. If I try to add something which is already there, it won't change the set. This makes sense, as only unique items can be in sets. Starting with that original list, we can remove items by using either the remove or discard method. Looking at discard, you simply want to pass it the element you want discarded and it will remove it. I generally prefer to use discard because if you try to discard an element which isn't in the set, it will just do nothing. But if you try to use the remove method and the element isn't in the set, it will throw an error. Okay, let's create two sets. Here we have my colors, which are blue, green, and red, and Ilkai's colors, which I've arbitrarily made to be blue and yellow. First, let's see what the union does. Just like we expect, union gives us items that are in either Ilkai's set or my set of colors. This can be useful if you want to know all the unique items that are in two separate sets. Notice that blue is in both sets, but it appears only once in the result. To be honest, most of the time when I find myself using sets is because I want to pull out the unique items across two groups of elements or to find the unique items in common. To find the items in common, we'd use the intersect method. Calling intersection on these two sets gives us back blue, because blue is in both of the sets. I should mention that you don't have to use the union method. You can use the or operator. Likewise, you don't have to use the intersection method. You can just use the ampersand symbol. If you're looking for more operations on sets, I recommend you check out the Python reference materials linked at the bottom. The big takeaway I want you to have from this is that if you're trying to figure out unique elements in common between two groups or looking to combine groups to find unique elements, sets are a really handy data structure to help you accomplish this.